Toronto International Film Festival, this is Red Carpet Diary. Blackbird tells the story of Sean Randall, a small town teen wrongly accused of planning a Columbine style shooting. It's a juicy role for 18 year old Connor Jessup, who plays Sean, and is named one of TIFF's rising stars of 2012. Welcome. Connor, welcome. Thank you. Uh, now, you know, the first thing that I noticed when you sat down and chatting with you a little bit here, uh, you're very different from your character Sean in the film. A little bit, yeah. How did you get into his mind? It was kind of a whirlwind, this movie. You know, I, the time between getting the part and shooting the part was minimal at most. And so it felt very quick. I had very long conversations with Jason Buxton, who's our writer-director, um, and kind of tried to delve into his beautiful, mad mind. And at the same time, I, you know, a lot of people do kind of substantial research. I, I didn't have time for a lot of stuff, but what I tried to do was just listen to the music that I thought he would listen to, surround myself with the colors that he would be surrounded with, surround myself with the art that I thought he would be surrounded with, mm -hmm. and sort of in that sort of kind of intangible way get into the character. The cafeteria would be the place. Two Colt 45s would be the tools. The captain of the hockey team would be the first target. The, the, the film is a really real look at the system, the justice system. Uh, and how draining it can be. What do you think your character learns about himself once he is in that system? Well, the tagline of the movie is the worst prisons are the ones we create for ourselves, which is sort of the theme of the movie as well, in that he, before the movie starts, he creates this identity for himself with the way he dresses, with the way he presents himself to his family, his friends, his people at his school, and it's, it's like he's putting up bars around himself. What does the bullying in school and then when he's incarcerated do to his sense of self? Well, it makes you, and it's not just for him, but for anybody, I think, who's bullied, it, it makes you question yourself and you, you start feeling inadequate and you, your, your insecurities become wild. They run wild, to say. You know, and, you know, there's the old cliche that the people who bully are the people who are the most bullied. And it's actually, it's, it's cliched, but it's true in that that's their way of coping with being bullied. Just like his way of coping is putting up this spiky wall. And just like someone else's way of coping might be to bury their head in a book. Or someone else's way might be to really focus on their studies. You know, there's a there's hundred ways of dealing with it or more. You get a slap on the wrist, be released for time served. You can't be here. Someone sees you and they'll call the police. Why can't you just lay low? I can't be you! So you want to go back to jail? You want to go back inside with those animals? Let him eat. Everyone deserves the last supper. I wasn't planning to kill her. I wasn't planning anything. 